वट इज गोइंग ऑन गाइज वेलकम बैक टू एनोदर एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अ कंप्लीट प्रोजेक्ट इन एंड्रॉइड विद द फायर बेस एज अ बैक एंड फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग टू एंड टिल जनरेटिंग द साइंड एप्लीकेशन सो दैट यू कैन अपलोड इट टू प्ले स्टोर और यू कैन शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स वी विल क्रिएट अ नोट्स एप्लीकेशन विच विल हैव स्प्लैश स्क्रीन टिल द डेटा लोड्स लॉग इन स्क्रीन विथ ई मेल एंड पासवर्ड वैलिडेशन create account screen with email verification we will design notes detail screen also where all of our notes will be visible we can add the notes using plus button and save the notes all the notes will be updated real time and also we can edit the existing note or delete the existing note and also we can log out from the application this is the complete project we are going to build in this series this is very important project since you will learn lot of things in this single series like layout designing input validation transfer data between activities recycler view custom item view login and create account using firebase authentication integrate firebase firestore in the android app add update delete the data of the firebase firestore and so on so if you don't want to miss anything please hit the like button and also the subscribe button so let's get started with new android studio project i have android studio opened over here i will click on new project I will select the empty activity since we are going to build from scratch and click on next. I will give the application name as Notes Pro. Give the package name. Select the language as Java since we are doing on Java. Minimum SDK you can select anything. I will select Marshmallow so that 95.6% of devices will support this. So click on finish to create the project. It will take some time to create the project. I will skip this. So our project is created successfully as you can see here gradle sync finished now we will test the application by running in the real device to run the application you have to select app over here and you have to select the device whatever the device is connected you have to select that and click on run app over here it will take some time to run the app so as you can see our application is launched successfully so i have this application name notes pro and we have this hello world text that is by default now let's change the default things like we have this default primary color i want to change the color i don't like this purple one so i will change the color and also i don't want this action bar i will remove it and make it the full screen so let's change the color first go to our project structure go to resource values colors.xml so first thing i will remove all of this purple color i don't want this to be here i will add my own color so to add my own color i will give color name i will give my primary as a name you can give any name and you have to add color code over here like this has the color code till 200 has like this till 700 has this black and white you can add any color you want for your app i will add one color that will be that will be like blue color only so if you want to make it red you can change the color from here you can change any color from here but i like this one so i am putting this one now let's go to themes file and change the color there so themes.xml and themes.xml night so first day one i will remove this color and set my primary as this color also the primary variant i will set my primary and the status bar color also i will remove and change to my primary and also i will remove this dark action bar that action bar i don't want like this one so i will remove this dark action bar and set to no action bar now go to night one same thing we have to do no action bar put the color my primary here also and in status bar also so we are done with the themes changes we can close the themes files we can close the colors file now let's see strings.xml here we have the application name that is notes pro so it is okay you can change the app name over here if you want to change i want to be notes pro so i will not do anything over here let's close this also now let's run it and test it how it is looking now as you can see my status bar color has changed and i have removed the action bar so it is looking already nice so let's design a splash screen so that it will load the splash screen at first and then we will come to this main activity so let's go to our package over here where main activity is there new activity empty activity 
I will give the name splash activity and I will click on finish. So it will generate a splash activity for me. Now let's design this splash screen. I will make simple splash screen. So go to activity splash.xml, click on split over here and change this constant layout to linear layout. We want linear layout, so I will change it. I will set the background color of this splash screen. So I will set the background color. That will be our my primary color we have just added. So this will look like this. I want to add a text over here. So let's add a text view. That will be our app name. So text view width match parent height will be wrap content. Text I will give notes pro. So here it is. You can give your application name instead of hard coding the text over here. You can directly refer to strings.xml. So I can say like string app name. So it will come notes pro. I will change the text size of this 32 SP text color. I will change to white and I will set it to center. So it will go to center and I will also make the text style as bold. So our application name is ready. I want one progress bar also. So below this, I will add a progress bar, progress bar, which will show our loading screen. I will give the hard coded height and width 24 DP. Small progress bar I want to add. So our progress bar is over here. We want it to be below the notes pro. So I will make this linear layout vertical. So it will be here. It is blue so that it is not visible. I'll change the color indeterminate tint to white color so that it will be visible. I want to center these all things. So in linear layout, I can give gravity as center. So as you can see, it is centered. I want to give some margin over here. 16 dp. Now it is looking nice. So our splash screen is ready. I can go to splash activity Java. So now what we will do is we will run this splash activity for some seconds and then we will go to main activity. So for that, I will add the timer over here. So I will create a handler, new handler dot post delayed method we have where we have to pass runnable interface. So here we have to pass for how much millisecond it should run. So I will give 1000 milliseconds, which means one second. So after one second, what we want to do after one second, we want to navigate to main activity. So we'll start the activity. We have to create intent splash activity dot this main activity dot class. So it is done, but our app will load the main activity only because we have not changed anything. So we have to set the launcher activity at splash activity. Go to Android manifest over here. So our launcher activity is main activity. So we can change this main activity to splash activity and this is splash activity to main activity so that it will launch the splash activity first and then after one second it will go to main activity. So let's run the application and see how it is looking right now. So as you can see for one second splash activity is loaded and then we are navigated to main activity. So let's just see that again. Splash activity and then main activity. But one thing you might have noticed when I click on back over here, it is again going to splash activity since we have not ended this activity. So after it goes to main activity, we have to finish this splash activity. So it will end the splash activity and start the main activity. Let's restart again. One second, it is loaded to main activity. And now when I click on back button, it will close the application. So our application is running successfully. We have achieved what we wanted. So that's all for this video. In next video, we will design a create account screen where we will create the account using email address and password. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment below. I will reply for you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.